WFD TV presents Gentle Giants with Pam Minnick and Katie Kaufman. This week, we're in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. I was born here and I grew up riding horses across the desert and going to junior rodeos. And for the last 30 years, Las Vegas has been the home of the NFR and other world-class equestrian events. But many people know it only for the gambling, the bright lights, and spectacular shows. You're right, Pam. And outside of Las Vegas, we met Eric Martonovich and his team of world-class equestrian vaulters along with their big Belgians. <laughs> These talented athletes are combining heavy horses, daredevil gymnastics, and vaulting athleticism into a thrilling show they call Gladius. I've actually known Eric and his family pretty much my entire life. His um, parents used to live next door to me when I was a kid. And um, Eric is the reason I got into vaulting. He just came up to my brother and I one day and was like, oh, this is a really cool sport with horses and you guys should come check it out. And I was seven at the time and I went and I fell in love with it. Vaulting is a competitive sport. It's, um, it's a lot bigger in Europe than it is here. So it's part of the World Equestrian Games. So they have, it's right up there with all the other uh, equestrian events that are there, including raining and jumping and eventing and all that stuff. It's a lot of lot gymnastics, a lot dance, a um, little bit of trick, a little bit of circus. One of the great things about it is it's something that people that can't afford to have a horse can do because you don't have to have your own horse. So you can, a team can consist of, you know, 10, 20, 30 kids and a couple of horses. When you're scored, you have a couple of scores that are counted on you, degree of difficulty, performance, and a horse score. I started vaulting uh, when I was 12 in Norway. I started on actually fjords. My sister did gymnastics and horseback riding, so she was one of the first ones in Norway to try it. So she was been doing it for a year and I was kind of jealous because she got all of the attention from everybody because she was doing gymnastics on horses. I fell in love with the sport. I started really putting my effort into it and I, three years later I took my first gold medal in the Norwegian Championship. So I have seven championships, uh, gold medals in the Norwegian Championships and then I competed, I started my first World Equestrian Games in 2002, that's where I met Eric. Um, I was 17 at a time and he, he competed for the US and I competed for Norway. Over the years I've been competing in Europe, uh, in World Championships, World Equestrian Games and European Championships. us, you know, uh, the four of us that are here that are kind of the core people, we all come from 20 plus years of a vaulting background and that gave us a really good balance on horses. That's the one thing that vaulting can give you over anything else. So learning how to roam and ride, learning how to ride dressage, um, anything like any tricks that we're going to do on the horses because we spent so many years in vaulting, we are just better balanced to do it. Whereas if you take somebody that's just a rider and has never done anything like that, it would take them a lot longer to learn, I think. I got my first pony when I was three. I started with all the vaulting and that stuff when I was six. I was on the US team, competed at the World Equestrian Games in 98, World Championships in 2000, and World Equestrian Games again in 2002. I was a competitive vaulter, I lived in Virginia kind of watched him at competitions and thought he was crazy because he was doing all kinds of weird routines that, that judges didn't really know what to think of. I mean, I did everything from standing backflips on the horse to um, sitting sideways on the horse, jump down to the ground, back up to a hot handstand on the horse. Um, I mean, basically high level gymnastic movements on a horse that's running in a circle. Mid 90s I started Roman riding and I took, I had a couple of vaulting horses and I had never actually seen anybody Roman ride on draft horses before at the time. Then we started kind of incorporating the vaulting into the Roman riding whereas normally you see Roman riders they stand there and the horses run around and that's the end of it. I figured we could do tricks on them while they were, so we do 
everything from jumps and handstands to picking other people up and throwing them around. Uh, Nicole does a stand on my shoulders while I'm standing on the horses running around. Um, so we started doing a lot of that stuff and I got really into that. I started really liking, liking to do that and pushing the, pushing the limits on it. I've been standing on a horse since I was seven, so I physically, I think I just know what to do. It's more the trust that I have with Eric and with the horses, and it's just that trust that you build up and know that they'll be there for you. Personally, I think draft horses are by far the best horses for it. Um, in the circus, where it's called bareback, and it's a similar Similar idea. Um, they use draft horses 100%. Vaulting in the in Europe doesn't use m many draft horses, or mostly because they had big warm bloods and they were cheap, and they didn't have big draft horses. I was able to do a standing backflip on the horse and land back on it. There's no way I could ever do that on a warm blood. They don't have the size, and they don't have the the mental part either. They just they're they're not predictable enough. If you're jumping up as high as you can and flipping over and trying to land back on it, you need to trust that animal. When we return, we'll go into the practice arena with Eric, Lisa, Nicole, and Alethea. Not to mention those big Belgians. We'll be right back. That's Lisa's baby. Badge is this one right here. He's kind of my my baby. He's the one of the older ones. I've had him since 2003. A badgie. Um, this is Travis. He is the one that we use whenever we want to try something new and really crazy. So we do all the fire stuff with him. He was one of the horses in the parasailing, all that fun and excitement. He's kind of a, he's he'll do anything. I don't know. He's, Welcome back to Gentle Giants. Champion equestrians Eric and Lisa Martanovich share their small ranch in Las Vegas with eight big Belgians. And let's not forget the fjords and illusions and some very talented friends. I've had Belgians in my life pretty much since I was 10. I, when I started vaulting at seven, I was with a club and then Eric decided to branch off and create his own club. And that was probably around when I was 10. And their first horse they got in was a uh, Belgian and she was so sweet and so made me feel so comfortable that I think they are really the reason that I was so able to do the tricks that I have um, been able to do and a lot of the things I have a couple of things that nobody else in the world does and I lead that all to the trust that I can have because they're such sweet animals that really are there for you and they it feels like they want to keep you safe being able to do different uh, mounts and ground jumps on them as well as jumps in the air um, i feel like because you have so much more trust and so much more platform that it's easier to just really let yourself fly and not be worried about the fact that when you come back down, they're still underneath you. We currently have eight Belgians and one Percheron. Um, the Belgians, some of them I've had, I think I've had Badge the longest, and the rest of them we've picked up over here and there over time and they're I mean they're they're the stars of the show that's we really that's that's my background is the big horses and the Belgians specifically so that's kind of the star part of the show all the rest of the horses are kind of supporting cast even people that have seen or that are around horses all the time will see our horses and their jaws will just drop because they're they look like dinosaurs <laughs> Because <laughs> even some draft horse people will get next to them and think they're this ginormous, which they are. I mean, the shortest horse we have is 18 hands. People that see our show are just uh, really impressed at all the stuff that we do. Down. 
Oh, I love Belgians. They're definitely my my love of the horse. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, um, as I said, I've never seen one. When I first saw the Belgians, I was like admiring how huge they are, and they, their feet are like three times the size of my horse in Norway. Their head is <laughs> a double. The only same, only thing that my horse had the same with these horses with the ears, because he has really large ears. <laughs> Their personalities are like really friendly, and 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 they have. They have a, I think bigger horses, bigger personalities. Because like we have one that's uh, his name is Travis, and I I can I swear if he could sit on your lap and be petted, he will sit on your lap and be a lap dog. Because he he's very they're very friendly and they learn really quickly. They're smart, the perfect horse. Vaulting is all done on them, the Roman writing is all done on them. We have a really cool riding act that's done on them where we're doing a bunch of cool high school moves. Um, I ride one of them around red. We do rears and flying changes and canter side passes and all kinds of fun stuff. He actually does caprioles too. We do all kinds of stuff with those guys that you just don't see anywhere else, including parasailing off them. All of the draft horses ride at a pretty high level. Um, a couple of them we've really pushed hard, red, badge, um, and they do pee off, passage, flying changes. Um, I've got red to every other stride flying change. Canter side passes, canter in place, Lavad. To be honest, I, I've trained a lot of horses over the years and he's probably been one of the easiest to be able to get all that stuff out of. I mean, and he is an exceptional horse. I'm not gonna say that every draft horse is gonna be just like him. But they're, I mean, they, they're very capable. They're, and they, they're, it's, it's surprising. I just feel um, mostly excited to be able to share what my passion is with other people. And it, since they've been a part of my life for my entire life, the people that come up and that have young kids that have never been next to a horse that can come and say hi and pet them and, um, just really see how big they are and how sweet and it's fun to let other people into your life for a moment to see how where that passion comes in. Working with the horses is the number one thing that's the most satisfying about all of it because we get to spend every day you know getting better at what we're doing and kind of learning more about horsemanship and just you know getting really good at one thing and it kind of pushing us into a new direction and discovering new options of things to do with horses that we never thought of and um, it's just humbling and really awesome to know that you can always get better and um, just to be able to spend that time every day with the horses is the best part about it. I kind of started the entertainment stuff in the late 90s, that's when I started. I was still competing, obviously, but I started doing the entertainment stuff. Eventually, when Cavalia hired us, we got to learn a whole nother set of skill sets. I mean, we went on there as vaulters with some Roman riding, and we came out of there with all kinds of skill sets. Did that for a couple years, and then moved to Vegas, and started working on Gladius. We kind of started branching out and getting gigs so we would perform like at local venues like the national western stock show or at somebody's birthday party or anywhere barely making it and we kind of persisted on that for about um about three years before we got hired to go on tour with cavalia so that was kind of like how we broke into it a little bit more I've met people all over the place and just found people that really wanted to be part of this because we're not doing this for money, especially not now. I mean, we're all, everybody here really wants to do this and wants to see it succeed. So we have a really amazing crew that all, you know, really care about. Nobody's here for a paycheck. Everybody's here because that's what they really want to do.
When we return, we'll get to see how the preparation has paid off. And watch Eric and this group's dreams come to life. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. You know, it's been nearly a decade since Eric, Lisa, Nicole, and Alethea dreamed of combining their vaulting skills with some extra elements into an exciting show that would entertain all ages. You're right, and Gladius was born, and part of the dream has already become a reality. Gladius is, we loosely, very loosely base it off of a like Roman gladiator, type um, feel, but there, there's no, it's not supposed to be period correct or anything along those lines. It's all very Cirque du Soleil in that sense. It's very, it's kind of an abstract show. We have a lot of unique acts. We have a bunch of Roman writing where the Roman writers are going and then, and they have girls flying on them and then the girls go up in the air and the horses keep going and they come back around, the girls come back out of the trapeze and fabrics and things back onto the horses and so there's all there's all kinds of stuff like that that's really never been done before um, we have chariot acts that are pretty unique we have um that we actually have people doing a, a choreographed fight on the between the chariots and then off the chariots and the chariots are kind of racing and fighting and it's not not just your typical chariot race but a lot more involved uh, we have a vaulting act that's completely unique or we have two horses on the same circle go opposite each other with lunging off of without a person it's just an apparatus with a big pole in the middle and a third per, a third girl up on the pole doing and they're all doing um routines to, together and it's uh, it's a really unique and hard to describe act uh we've got we've got a i mean we've got a ton of really unique stuff I have started Roman writing as well. I do some shows where I'm doing the Roman writing, but I, I enjoy um, just, I feel more comfortable, honestly, jumping up on top of Eric's shoulders than I do sometimes just riding on the top of the horses. But vaulting is my main, this is like my, I guess my star act, me and, me and Nicole is, the, the main vaulters. Uh, we do, uh, it's called Olympus, and we have, uh, we are on one horse each, and they're going opposite of each other um, in a circle. This is a really, really cool act. We do matching stuff that's totally matching, and then we do all stuff, stuff that is opposite. And uh, I, I love that act, it's, it's my favorite. Yeah, the Roman writing, uh, I started as when I moved here, I, I started learning that, and and uh, I just I love it. It's really really fun. And I went from just doing two horses to doing two horses and doing tricks while I Roman ride by myself. And then Eric was doing all the eight horse stuff and the and the nine horse and the and the four ups and all, all that kind of stuff. So I, I decided I wanted to try four up, and I actually got pretty good at that. So now I can ride four horses. It's still got all the amazing horsemanship and all of the beauty of that, but it also has a really exciting you know, piece that's just for the adrenaline junkie and for you know the person who's the car guy or the motorcycle guy who's not all that excited about horses, but they are going to be excited about what they see there because it's just a much higher energy show. What I had in my head is the wife that's big into horses drags her husband who's not big into horses to the show and he leaves going, that was awesome. There's, there's stunts in it that are really crazy stunts. Stuff that people are just, whoa, how'd that happen? And a lot of fire and a lot of just h real high energy show. The show is fun for the whole family. We have 
a clown act that the kids will love with little mini ponies and we have fire for those people that just want a little bit more heat and we have some really elegant, beautiful riding with our light and illusions and for the, it's, it's got a little bit of taste for everybody, um, for the general horse lover or for somebody that wants to see a little more than just pretty riding. Every time I hear anyone when we do our shows is they had so much excitement and there's almost too much to see so they have to come back which is our secret ploy to get everyone to come back again and see, watch it again because there's just so much going on. The ultimate goal is to be in Vegas on the Strip and doing our show. So we just put in a crazy amount of time, you know, a lot of time, a lot of work to try to make it happen. We want to thank Eric and his entire team for showing us a different side of draft horses under those bright lights in Las Vegas. The athleticism of Lisa, Nicole, Alethea, and of course Eric was incredible. They are in great shape and so are their horses. It was beautiful to watch. You can check them out on the web at gladiustheshow.net or hopefully soon Gladius will be on tour or in a hotel casino right here in Las Vegas. Join us right back here next week on Gentle Giants. Or as always, you can always see what we're up to on our Facebook page. Bye now.